Welcome to the AI Anywhere video series. My name is Kevin Prone, Lead Product Marketing Manager for Google to Super Cloud Connected. Today I'm joined by Manisha. Would you care to introduce yourself? Yeah. Uh, hi, Cameron. Nice to meet everybody. I am Manisha. I manage our strategic partnerships and I'm in part of the product partnership team at Google Distributed Cloud. Excellent. Excellent. Um, it, it seems that, per, that procuring edge hardware can be very difficult. Trying to figure out the right way to uh, build and deploy the AI offerings or the um, offerings that can be built on the cloud and procure them to the edge uh, is an amazing use case for many customers, but the procurement can be very difficult. Can, can you explain a little bit more about this? Yeah, sure. So uh, currently, uh, Google Distributed Cloud essentially brings all the Google Cloud services and solutions to customers. Um, the connected uh, Google Distributed Cloud brings it to the edge uh, so that customers can experience it at the edge. Um, but uh, the way it's done right now is that it's uh, a combination of hardware and software solution all together, cool. tightly coupled in, uh, into a single package that is uh, given to the customer. Uh, what we've heard from customers is that uh, a lot of them would like more control over their hardware and right. better procurement through their own procurement uh, channels, so they'd like to do that. Uh, what we've also heard is that they want pricing flexibility, uh, currently, we offer the hardware at Google negotiated rates uh, with the hardware vendors. Uh, customers would like to leverage their own relationships with the OEMs because a lot of our customers are enterprise customers who have these existing relationships and have pre-existing negotiated prices due to their own commitments. Um, so they want the flexibility around that. So we've heard um, they want that. They want to be able to keep the, uh, the hardware on their books because they can reap some uh, advantages for CapEx uh, by doing that. Um, and so the customer sourced option, which is an additional option that we are launching, um, uh, provides all of these advantages to the customer. Um, uh, so it provides a new way for them to procure the, procure the hardware through their own channels. Um, it brings better price flexibility uh, and negotiation, negotiating power mm -hmm. on the hardware to the customers, um, and it allows them to have more control over their hardware. Great. Okay. So it, it sounds like there's two different delivery methods here. One is uh, for customers that they can they can choose to buy the software and the hardware from Google directly for Google Distributed Cloud, um, or they can procure the hardware uh, from a partner or from their own procurement channels of, of other choice, right? Right. So the way it works currently is that they would uh, still call it, we still partner with them on the entire solution, and we uh, provide them, uh, you know, GVC connected through um, our stack. Uh, but we ha we have a list of partners that we have um, uh, partnerships with um, our product delivery partners. Uh, one example is EOS. We've partnered with them, so the customer would uh, engage with them to procure the hardware. Uh, directly from them. And uh, uh, the way that we've set this up is that we have a certified set of SKUs that uh, work seamlessly with our software uh, that we, having, that we have uh, shared with our partners. Um, and so they have those set of SKUs available. Um, they have them available directly to customers. Then customers can go to them and buy them uh, directly from them. Mm -hmm. um, so they will have that hardware procurement uh, from the partner. Uh, and then they can also engage with the partner or the OEM of their choice to negotiate their existing pricing directly with them. Great, great. Uh, where and how is it available? So currently, um, uh, it's, uh, we're launching this in 30 countries. And uh, the reason this is beneficial compared to our initial model is that it actually expands the availability of this option to a much wider customer base. So many more customers, almost an order of magnitude more, can actually access this through the countries in which we are making this available. Um, as you can imagine, if it's Google-owned uh, sourced hardware, then uh, you know, we may have some limitations. We may not have the presence in all the countries. Right. In terms of legal entities and the infrastructure entities, mm -hmm. it could be compliance reasons. It could be uh, you know, various ge geographical presence regions. We, mm -hmm. we may not have that set established setup. But through our partnerships, we're actually able to scale the solution to the customers who are in need, and um, so therefore expand our global reach. On, Initial launch, we're launching this in 30 countries mm -hmm. with our, for our customers, and the plan is to add more partners in more countries as we go. Uh, as we go. One of the advantages that Google Distributed Cloud offers to customers is the, the fully managed offering end-to-end -end, uh, for software and hardware. 
Um, what does technical support look like for the customer source option? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we offer the same level of SLAs and SLOs that we do in the, uh, you know, as if it was our own uh, solution and our own uh, hardware. Uh, and so still, uh, you know, if there's an issue, uh, the customer will reach out to Google. We have, uh, you know, our tech on site to de detect it. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have the, our customer support team looking at it. If it's a software issue, we triage it, we troubleshoot it. Mm -hmm. If it's a hardware issue, we pass it to the partner. The partner then engages with the customer and does the repair, whether it's on site, whether it's replacement, whether it's working with the OEMs. So the, the partner will actually provide that, that support. But it's the same level of support eventually that the Great. customer will get as if it's, um, you know, the- uh, Awesome, so same support for both delivery options. Yeah. Uh, that's great. H how can customers get started? Yeah, uh, visit our website on Google Distributed Cloud and contact your account representative. They will be able to guide you and uh, take you through it. Great, okay. Thank you so much for joining us today, Manisha. Thank you for having me. And thank you.